That was the dance set, Manze. How are you feeling? Wambo VP, it's your boy, Star the Entertainer, and you're watching the teen service. Okay. Feel blessed as you watch the service. I'll keep you entertained, Manze. Keep on sending your, your requests. We'll just jump into them as we listen to the pastor. I'll keep you entertained. I'll make sure that... Huh? What do you do, Mambo VP? How are you feeling, Manze? It's your boy, Jabez, Manze. And I'll be the MC of the day. Welcome to the teen service this morning, Manze. I hope me jibamba na iyo dance set, Manze. Maboy wangu mefanya mambo zao. Right about now, we are going to get into the praise and worship session. I hope mjibambe. Free, feel free. Every song that you're going to sing, sing with them as, at the comfort at your home. Bless up.
Jesus, I hope you have enjoyed the praise and worship session. So right about now, I just want to give the main uh, word which the pastor is going to preach, Pastor Jomba. He's coming to preach about uh, running to Christ. As we watch this service at your comfort of your home, is there a point that you, uh, you felt that you needed to run to Christ? Is there a point that you are very low, you are very down, and you needed help? I'm going to invite the pastor, Pastor Philip, and he's going to share us the word. Thank you. Uh, praise God. I greet you all. In the name of Jesus, I want to welcome you in our tea service. This is one of the most exciting service to be in. Actually, every... Every Sunday, I, I always look forward for the teen service, not just because I'm going to preach, but because I'm going to meet uh, these young people who are always teaching me a lot of many things. Other than that, these people are very energetic. Parents who are watching me at home, I want you to know that uh, when you send your teenagers here in church, uh, I can assure you the energy that they bring here, the fun, that they bring here, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So for those teens who have joined us in our teen service and for all those who have joined us in our teen service, I want to welcome you all. I am Pastor Philip, AKA Jomba Arunga, and I love the Lord. So this wonderful um, afternoon, I am pleased to come to you to share God's word. And before we do that, of course, we have to pray we have, to read, we have to pray, and then we're going to read God's word. Let's pray together. Father, I want to thank you for the opportunity to share in this amazing, wonderful service, teen service. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to just, you know, uh, sit at your table and just hear your word. And I pray, oh God, that you will use me and your Holy Spirit will be at work even as I minister your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Again, for those who are joining us, I just welcome, I want to welcome you to the teen service. For the teens who are watching me, I've missed you so much. I, I can't even explain how much I miss you, but I am looking forward, together with my staff, we are looking forward to have you back to church. Men, as in, uh, without you men, this life will be boring, very, very boring. I love your energy. I love the way you just come every Sunday and teach me new things. I love the way you, you're just unique in your own way. Uh, as in every time when I'm with you, I'm always learning new things, and I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait uh, to see you back when you come and give me testimonies of how this uh, pandemic uh, you know, was, uh, how the challenges you faced, the, 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 the storms you, overca you overcame, I look forward because I know there are so many stories you will come and tell me. I want us to go to the Word of God this morning, and I believe that you're going to be blessed. I want to read from the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Some version says, the name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and they are safe. This morning I want to just share shortly, and the title of my message is Running Towards God. Running Towards God. I remember I went for a youth, our youth camp in this church, and our camp was at uh, Alliance Boys. And I remember we, we were having this uh, wonderful uh, evening service. And, and the preacher that evening preached about salvation. And when the preacher called for altar call, I remember I am the only person, uh, only person who lifted my hands and I went and gave my life to Christ. At that time, I, I, I was just trying to see if this God will work. <laughs> is this God real? 
I'd experienced God in my life, but I was going through many challenges, like the way you guys are going through so many challenges right now. I may not know them, but I believe that people are going through many challenges. And I remember I went and gave my life to Christ, just trying to see how things will work out. I can assure you, after I gave my life to Jesus, you know what happened? Things even became worse. <laughs> things became worse. You know, people have this tendency of thinking that when you give your life to Christ, everything will just go okay. Things will just go fine. But I remember after I gave my life to Christ, challenges, even more challenges came. Challenges to sin came. Challenges to do the wrong things came. Challenges to, to give up. You know, these challenges made me even come to a point I was about to give up. I remember one time I was going home because we were living in Buruburu Phase 4. And I, 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 I was going to church and I, and I kept on sinning, going to church, sinning, church, sinning. So one time when I was going to church and I, 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 I just sat on a pavement and I told God, I want to give up. I, I just, I, I don't have to be going to church and, and, I, and I keep on sinning. But I remember a still voice told me, Philip, just keep going to church. Just keep going to church. <laughs> and after, after some few months and after one year, I started growing in Christ. Then I started seeing the importance of being in Christ. What am I trying to say? That day when that preacher called out for altar call, I went walking. But right now, if I was to preach about salvation and, and, and even the title of my message, Running Towards God, I will tell people who have not yet given their life to Christ. Don't walk, run towards God. Yani, kama uneza kimbia tu, yani utokembio zako zote. Yani tu umpoke u yesu, it is the best thing that has ever happened to any person who is born again. Because in Christ, there are so many good things. Oh my God, I can't even uh, explain everything that God has done in my life. But being in Christ, it is one of the most greatest things that can, anyone can ever achieve. So this morning, as you join me, as I share shortly about running towards Christ, I want you to get ready. Yani mkwetuile on your marks, get set, alafu, go. Yani utokembio zako zote because you need this Christ. Why should we run towards Christ? Because he's our refuge. Christ is our refuge. And in the book of Psalms, in the book of Psalms 46, the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. We should run towards Christ. Come up on a watch and you're a teenager and you're a youth. And even you may not be a teenager or a youth. I'm telling you, why should we run towards Christ? Because he is our refuge. And when troubles are there, the best thing that you can do is to run towards Christ. And the Bible says, it, has said, it is said clearly in the book of Psalms 46, God is our refuge and strength. When we run towards Christ, we find refuge, we find strength. And he's always ready to help us. Always ready to help us. I don't know what you're facing right now. I'm going to psych mob. Psych, what's open to spend time in jail? Now, time, I'm going to show Manze jo, this time, ni kukanda ni hao. And I know many parents wana wish to yani e quarantine ishe yani dua rudi shule. Nana jo e energy ote yani kuna vitu mob sana azifanyiki kwa life yako. And there are so many challenges around you. It may not be you. Probably ni challenge to za fadhe na madhe. Probably ni challenge to za finances in your home. But this morning I'm speaking to those People are watching me run towards Christ because he is our refuge. And apart from just being our refuge, he's our strength. You get, you get strength through Christ. Man, I can assure you, I don't know how many times I've kept on falling down, but when I run towards Christ, he gives me strength to move on. He keeps on giving me strength to move on. And then apart from just giving me strength, the Bible says he helps me in times of trouble. I also want to read from the book of um, Psalms 91. Psalms 91, he says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare of the Lord. He alone is my refuge. 
My God, my God, God is the only one who is your refuge. Come and check you home, Nataka Kwambia. God is the only one who is your refuge. Yes? He says, my refuge, my place of safety. Eh? Apart from being your, 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 your place of safety, he is your God and you are trusting him. Amen? time trust God with all their heart. Namina kuspikia those people are watching me at home. God is the only person you can trust right now. Despite of the challenges that you're facing, despite of the difficulties that you're facing, despite of, you know, the disconnection that you are having with your parents at home, God is your refuge. God is your help and you, is the only one you can trust. Parents, I know some of you are watching me, but uh, it, it is true that, uh, you know, your, your teenagers cannot trust you every time. And, and I want to tell you, parents, teach them to trust in the Lord because there are times where you're not going to be there. If you teach them to trust in the Lord, then when they are in need or when they are in a, in a very desperate position in their life, they will always know who to trust first. They will always know, I'll trust God first and pray. Then I'll trust my parents to give me advice. You know, the Bible says that he alone is my refuge, my place of safety he is my God and I'm trusting him. Whenever we want to run from something, we must train ourselves to run to God. Amen? Kauko hapo home, na una face challenge yoyote. You must train yourself to run to God. You must train yourself to run to God. The problem is, most of the time, we say wengi sana, waki kuwana challenges. They start running towards drugs. When una drugs is the only solution that they have. When people have problems, something that by smoking bang is the only hope that they have. They think that nikena ni futeboza, maybe problem zangu zitaishia. When people are facing problem, another thing is they, they think that their friends, their peers are the people who can help them. Now some of these peers are not people that you can trust. Some of them, they're even worse than you, and you're running towards them for counsel, and then on a show, twende tuwake, twende tufute boza. When people are facing difficulties, they run towards the government. We are used to saidia, serikali saidia, but as much as we need to trust our government, and we need help from our government, our government cannot solve the problems of our life. People trust in money, but I want you to know, even if you have money, your money cannot solve all your problems. The thing is, we must learn to run towards God. We must learn to run towards God, because God is the only person, only person who can help us. In the book of Psalms 31, in the book of Psalms 31, I want to read this passage. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 31 from verse 1, O oh Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let, me, don't let me be put to shame. Rescue me. For you always do what is right. Bend down and listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be for me, and be for me a great rock of safety, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach. David was saying he can only run towards God. For protection. David is crying out and he says, God, please rescue me. David is saying, do not allow my enemies to succeed over me. You see, the problem is, instead of running towards God when you have different challenges in life, we always want to run towards other things. But David is teaching us something here. We must learn to run towards God. We must learn to run towards God. When you mess up, do you run from God or run to him? When many people mess up, they run away from God. 
And this may not be just only teenagers, even youth, even young adults, even parents. When people mess up, they run. They run away from God. There are many challenges I face, many difficult challenges. Na kuna zile challenges zili kwa zina nifanya ni feel. I need to run away from God. I need to just run away from church. I need to just run away from people. I don't want people to know about my sin. I need to run away. And many times people think the same way I used to think. But I came to realize that even if I run away from God, how far will I go? Because God is everywhere. We need to teach ourselves to run towards God. Koko hapo home na unanicheki. Nataka kuambia hizo challenges una face. God anasema run towards me. Don't run away from him, run towards him. If you read in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 15 from verse 11 to 32, the story of the prodigal son. This 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 prodigal son alisema aliambia father can you give me some money I go away. And he was walking away from his father's presence. Akifikiri kama iko na chapa then ata succeed in life. Guess what? Alienda kaspend chapa na mamanzi, akaspend chapa na mabeste. The Bible says he spent his money on worldly things. Kumanisha, there is nothing useful ali use neo pesake. And he walked away from his father's present. But the Bible says that chapa zilisha mbaka akanza ku, ku feed from the pig's food. Alava akajuliza enye kusema tu kweli. Pali nilitoka, kuna, 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 kuna food. Fadangu yuko ni mdosi na fadangu aneza ni employee. The Bible says when he came to his senses, I'll say, I'll return back to God. And that's a good story that we can use about running towards God. He says, I will go to my father and I will ask for forgiveness. Now I will ask him to just employ me to be like any other person, any other servant. And when he was going towards his father, he was walking, but I can imagine he was going back towards his father Guess what happened? When his father saw him, he ran towards him. And he received him well. And he told him, you know, Dad, I have sinned against you. I have, I have overspent what you gave me. I have overspent my inheritance. When, when he accept to come a servant. But for that, I said, when it happen? This cannot happen. You are my son. And I will treat you not like any other servant. You will be treated like my son because you are my heir. And that's what God is talking to you this afternoon. That zile mess zote umefanya kwa maisha. Those people who are watching me, zile mess, yani if you have overspent your money, if you have, if you have sinned against God, if you have sinned against your parents, God is just telling me, run towards me. I will receive you. You know the way God treats us when we, when we fall and then we wake up. God anakutitingi too like a child of the kingdom. Wewe ni mtoto wa mungu. You belong in this kingdom and you are a child of the kingdom. And this morning, I want to encourage you. Are you running away from God? Or are you running towards God? For those people who are watching me, are you running away from God or are you running towards God? Are you like this prodigal son who said, I don't care what my father will say about me. I don't care whether he will beat me. I don't care whether he will discipline me. I will go back. And whatever he does, Whatever measures of discipline I'll face, I'll be under his, his protection. And this morning, I want to tell you this. God wants you to run towards him. God wants you to run towards him. He wants you to run towards him for protection. He wants you to run towards him for refuge. He wants you to run towards him so that he may provide for your needs. God wants you to stop playing around with different drugs. God wants you to stop playing around with wrong company. God wants you to stop playing around or watching things that you're not supposed to be watching. God wants you to, to stay away from the music that you're not supposed to listen. God just wants you to run towards him and tell God, I have sinned against you and I need you in my life. So this someone has really spoken to me the most that it is important for us to run towards God. Nimkimbili ye nani e e e Nimkimbili ye yesu mokozi wangu Wase it's time to run towards God Amen It is time 
for you to run towards God. It is time for you. You should not walk. Run towards him. Run towards him. God is saying, run towards him. Me, I will protect you. I will be with you. I, I have to stop there. For those teenagers who are watching, uh, I just want you to know that God is the only help that you need. Uh, for everyone who is watching, I want you to know that God wants you to run towards him. And when you run towards him, God will come through for you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. I want us to pray together. Father, have your way. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way. I don't know what these young people have been facing during this time. I don't know the challenges. I don't know the stress that they have been going through. I don't know what their parents have been going through. I don't know, oh God, what they have been involved in. This almost two to three months they have been at home. I don't know, Lord. Some of them, they have run away from you and they need to return back and run towards you very fast. Some of them, they are in a place where they, they don't know where to turn to. Lord, I speak to them, those who are watching me, that they will run towards you, oh God. Some of them are addicts to different things, drugs, music, movies that are not of you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that, 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 that you'll cut them out, you'll cut them, you'll cut them out of these things that they are causing them to run away from you. And I pray that they will give themselves to you once again. They will rededicate themselves to you once again. That they will give their lives to you once again. And they will run towards you and they will find their refuge, their protection, their, 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 their supplies through you, oh God, because it's only you who can do it. I pray for the gift of salvation among those who are watching me and they have not given their life to Christ. I pray that they will give their life to Christ. They will just surrender once more. For those who have backslided, I pray that they will be able, oh God, to return back to you and know you as Lord and Savior and they will give themselves fully to you, oh God. I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for watching. I miss you guys. I miss you teenagers. Uh, you are energetic people, you know. I love you, you know, Pastor Philip loves you. I miss you and I hope to see you soon. I look forward to see you soon. And no matter, no matter how much time will take, I can assure you we are going to be together. Don't give up on God, don't give up on church. We love you and we care. God bless you, bye. So you have heard the word, the pastor has, talk, has talked about running to Christ. So there are circumstances that you have heard the pastor said. When the e situation malituko, as you can see, we have the COVID-19 with us. And uh, as believers, we should always trust that it is going to end and we'll be back to where we were, the position. We used to come to church, when they tulko up as water to enjoy. But due to this COVID-19, we can't do that. So I hope that you have heard the message and uh, you are blessed. So right about now, you can give the tithes and the offerings through the pay bill number. M-Pesa, Manzeun is a Chesa na M-Pesa. And the pay bill number is 904801. You can give your offerings there, such as a new M-Pesa. Be blessed. I hope to see you soon, Manze. Right about now, Nataka can invite Pastor Philip Jomba, Manze, to put your benediction. Pastor Jomba, the floor is yours. Come do what you do. Thank you. Hey, it's me again. Uh, I'm here to do a benediction, and I hope that um, we'll all be blessed. Amen? I know most people are looking forward for, uh, for the quarantine to be over, and my prayer is that uh, God will do it. Father, I pray that you be with your people. We just pray that you'll have your way. Uh, Lord, uh, we are limited as human beings, but I know, Lord, you're not limited. I know, oh God, you, 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 will, you will come through for each and every one of us. You'll come through for this nation. And Lord, we believe that soon people uh, and people, things and life will go back to normal. We believe that God, you are at work even if we cannot see it. 
We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope to see you soon. God bless you. Bye.